Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are going to take a picky eater test. Now, I'm known as being a picky eater, but this is gonna be a definitive measurement of how picky you are as well. Yes. And I'm told that the crew has wagered. Wagered. Uh, against our scores. Oh, well this is fun. Gambling, yes, we encourage that. Yes. Not not with, not you know, just not with real money, you know. Just, just with ideas. Just with the fun of it. Just with ideas. And uh, also, we're going to find out how uh, picky some of the crew members are. Mm -hmm. Good, good. But first, let's play You Gotta Check Out, where we invent, uh, or we are given the title of a, of a show, and then we say that you gotta check it out. You have got to check out... Eating My Way to You. Eating My Way to You is... <laughs> you know, we take... Uh, it's so good, first of all. Well, this season was crazy because... Season three? Well, because it was like, season three was the old folks, <laughs> you know? Right. They started out with like uh, straight people in season one, and then gay people season two, right. and now it's just old people. Old people, but they're all hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're all hot! So and hot. And they put the hottest dude inside a giant thing of bologna. <laughs> right. That's what I only say that because that's what they called it on the show. Right. I always called it bologna, but I think because it was all filmed in Spawn. Right. <laughs> and then all the- Bologna. And then all the old hot women, women yeah. are around oh, there. And, and men, calling, because, because, yeah, and it's, men it's because it's the gay bi, and straight. It's the bi season. Oh, and then old it's bi people. Old, it's called old bi's. And it's like. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're, they all. <laughs> <laughs> they start eating the bologna. And and, but they're gets... eating towards the person that they want to be closest to. Come to me. Come to me, old no, bi person. No, they're all trying to get the hot dude. One guy's in bologna. At least the season I saw. Oh, oh. Maybe you saw season four. I don't know. No, no, no. But you should check it out. It, you, in the episode I saw, the guy was in the bologna. Oh, and yeah. he was eating his way out oh, to get to the person dang. that he loved. Yeah, and, so, and see, then in the and, episode I saw, they were eating in. To get to the to guy get to him. inside of bologna. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's a multicast. Or maybe I was just watching it backwards. <laughs> no. I don't know, but you should check it out! You should totally check it out. Wow. And uh, Did you say I don't know if you spawn? noticed, I got a nice ring. Spawn. <laughs> I didn't even say España. Spawn. I said spawn. <laughs> <laughs> the bit's over, now we can just. Oh, man. We're having debrief fun. about hey, it. We're having so much fun today. Oh, God. Wow. Hey man, um, what are you, doing? you treat me like a child. It's a very complicated test. Child. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, it's a complicated test. I have a list of 15 things that people um, notoriously don't like to eat. Okay, we're gonna go through that list. Okay. You're each gonna tell me if you refuse to eat that thing. If refuse you refuse or prefer, um, I think refuse. Like you, you don't like it. Like, it's not like, you know, you're in some kind of game show and inside of a bologna and you have to eat it. It's right. like just on a regular day. It's so like, no, I, I'd prefer not to eat that, so I'm not going to. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for each item that you refuse to eat, you get a point. Okay. And uh, yeah, the crew has guessed specifically what link links points okay. we'll add up oh. to. So we'll see... Um, We'll see if they're right. It's always there. It's never it's the happened. desk. How long is why is it taking so long? I guess my knees grew. Um, speaking of growth, Stevie, let me ask you about your experience. Yeah. Now that you're back behind the mic. Oh, how how so was it better. Seems like in the lights. Seems like that that's your comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when you stand next to a board and you kind of gesture at it and you're standing behind um Two guys a tall man up. with tall hair and you know, it's just like, what do you do? You know, and then you like open a thing that can be opened. But we had so much fun you know? with you up here. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm here, and and now I have my button. I can push it, yeah, and yeah, I can yeah, talk yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, I can yeah. read stuff. Yeah. And that's, maybe one day yeah. we'll come back there and see what it feels like. Well, it's also there's like a nice amount of physical separation between me and the two of you. Yeah. Right. You can't smell me. Y yeah. Well, mostly me and Link. You can't throw things at me. But I kind of like the fact that we were having fun and then Rhett was the one getting kind of frustrated and that was nice. Oh, I wasn't frustrated. Um, and I'm not gonna try to play this like Ollie in anything. I'm not gonna be the guy that's trying to go 15 and 0, just so you know, okay? I'm gonna I be mean, honest. But yeah, but I think you, I mean, okay, I won't give any previews, but I, I mean, you would, I think you would eat all this stuff, okay. why not? All right. Blue cheese. Love it. No, I don't, I'd rather not. <laughs> Woo. 
Dang. Okay. One for one. I'm here. gonna take a L on this one. No point. I recently well, I'll had take a something. Point. What was it? I d- I've never liked blue cheese Where in any, was I? And on they anything. Put blue cheese in something, and I was like, "Well, that's a bowl." Oh, it was when we were with our uh, friends in uh, Colorado. I don't know if you picked up buddies? on this, but the first day I had a, like a burger with blue cheese on it, and then I went to the next restaurant, and they had a country fried steak with blue cheese gravy. <laughs> and I was hey. like, "I guess I gotta get it." You got it. From then on, five meals in a row. I just got the thing with blue cheese on the menu, and I had such a wonderful trip. One of them was uh, loaded fries, I think. I can't remember. It was a blue what cheese. is that dinging? Good. Oh well, I typically don't have my iPad in here. I just brought it. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I got a couple of texts here. Well, it's on a thread. It's a thread that you're on. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it our friend who was asking us our two favorite colors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The last, the, the the most active thread that we're both on right now is all of our friends saying what their two favorite colors. Yeah, are. yeah. Isn't I, that cute? Well, it's, I think we're have, all having jerseys. Mike. <laughs> Science Mike. Mike McCarg is asking ask all of our friends, what's your two favorite colors? <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person by their two favorite colors. Uh, green and blue, in, not in the reverse order. Okay, next one. What's your favorite colors? What did you get? What did you tell him? I said purple and green. I think he's making a present for us. Purple yeah. and green. It's, it's Barney colors. Yeah, you no. said purple and green. Hulk. Oh, green and purple. I like purple. Uh, purple. Purple. Is, I, I, my, purple and green. My favorite color rotates. It was gray for a long time. I thought you were going to say gray, and then I thought you would say, <laughs> I don't know. I almost said brown and gray. Orange. I loved brown for a long time. I loved gray for a long time. And then I brown. became a purple guy. I mean, kind of in a purple phase. And I was like, purple and brown seems weird. And so I was like, purple and, I love, I like green. I like to wear green clothing, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not eating the blue cheese, is the point. Licorice. Oh. I'm going to take an L on that Dang, one. Dang, your name, is this a list of my favorite foods? <laughs> I'm not. Man, I gotta get some new I gotta get some new licorice. I got old licorice. <laughs> I mean I got old licorice now. Does it get old? It gets hard. And I like it the, I like the Australian soft kind. You didn't eat we bought it for you for your birthday and you never ate all of it? Well, it's not good for you. There's for two reasons. Number one, it's mostly sugar. Number two, if you eat too much, it does something to your blood. Look it up. Don't yeah, I recently heard this too. If you, if you like eating a lot of black licorice, it can do something to your blood. That's not good. Seems like what would be pertinent, but okay. <laughs> radishes. Uh, radishes. Now, what is I that? I love a good radish. What is a, is a radish that white disc that's red on the edge? Yeah. Have you not? My mom used salads? to bring me whole radishes and just get, well, I mean, I took them from her. She didn't just feed them with her hands. She would bring home radishes and I would pop them in one after another. And now the only place you can get them is if you, I mean, you can get them at the grocery store, but the only place I run into them is at a taco stand now where they give you the cut oh, radishes. yes, yes, yes. I, I like these. Hey! I like these. They're peppery. They got a, like a black peppery type You didn't pepper. know what it was though? Yeah, it was a weird route sure. we took to get here. I wanted to but... make sure that's what that was. Oh, I love those. Oysters. I'm gonna pass. Yeah. I, I'll be honest, most of the time I eat them, I'm eating them because everyone has decided to do so. And if you put the right stuff on them, the stuff that's on them tastes good. Well, here's what I don't understand about them. But I don't like them in the same way that I like sushi, which is like, I actually, I'm not just liking sushi to be a guy who likes sushi. Okay. I'm, I, it just tastes good. What but about barbecue the, oysters? The oysters are great, cooked are great. I'm talking about like, Oysters on the half shell. But let me ask you, show me how to eat an oyster right here. <laughs> and then, like, with your other hand, show me the, where the oyster goes at what speed. Oh, well, let me start over. <laughs> start over. Oh, that's just so everyone can see. Yeah, and you go in profile. <laughs> you grabbing the, yeah, just, I, 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 I <laughs> Everybody ready? Because we're doing it together. <laughs> <laughs> And point with this hand where well, it's right what, here. What right happens? In, yeah, <laughs> internally. I didn't think I, I was getting ready when it okay, went Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's my. <laughs> you die. Okay, yeah. 
so my point is just like that. What's the point in eating <laughs> something that you're just gonna just gonna swallow as quick as you can? Oh, oh, you mean why didn't I chew it? Why didn't you taste it? I mean, what's the point of eating something if you're not gonna taste it? Good. Oh. You should chew it. You shouldn't. Maybe I not do chew, chew it. it. Yeah. I don't think that he one, chooses that it. That one was imagined. He doesn't chew it. So it didn't require chewing. He doesn't choose it. No, no, I think I do chew it. I think I do chew it. A couple times. Yeah. Just to get some taste out of it? Is that where it still is? Okay. But this is, now half of it's going down. Uh, and half of it. Other half is up here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's separated. No, I definitely am not eating one. <laughs> And that's but I do eat it, so no. yes, I do not refuse no. it. No, it's just not my favorite thing. No, I like shrimp. That's not on the list. <laughs> broccoli. Yes, I like broccoli. Yeah, and you should always, when presented with an opportunity to eat raw broccoli, do it. And the sad thing is, every time I see raw broccoli, I hear him say that in my head. <laughs> why? What do you mean? Like because he's he's he <laughs> always. No, why says do you? It. Why should you eat raw broccoli? It's so good for you. That's what I got food poisoning from. Whenever, that one time. whenever you, if if you're ever presented with an opportunity to eat raw broccoli, you should take it. Just do it. Just Always take it. Because, take it. And you know what? I do. I just I can't not hear. I see raw broccoli and I hear your speech. Yeah. You're not even there. The other night at my house, <laughs> two nights ago, there was raw broccoli and I I came this close to saying it. Hold on. But, but you, I knew it would make you too happy. Hold on. But you ate it, right? I did eat it because I heard it. But hold on. But and I almost said. Whenever you're presented with an opportunity to eat raw broccoli, you should always do it. The reason I and say that. And I didn't that, want to make you happy. The reason I say that is I'm saying it to myself and others because <laughs> when presented with a traditional veggie tray, broccoli is far and away the most healthy thing. Far and away the healthiest thing between carrots, uh, celery, got nothing. There ain't nothing happening mm -mm -mm. with celery. Cauliflower is a close second, well, a distant second. But you got that broccoli, you don't want to eat it. You want the carrots, you want the celery, you want the stuff that's not really gonna do much for you. Go for the broccoli. So I tell myself that and I tell others that. Yeah, and, and other people never forget it. Now, do, right. you, do you know what food is the highest percentage of water? In that mix? Nope. In all foods? Uh, all foods. Well, I mean, celery is a good candidate for that. But watermelon is also a great candidate for that. Is there, do you know? Yeah, man. Definitively, have yeah. I named it yet? Yeah. Well, you just give me your answer. Celery. <laughs> it's cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Uh, it's 103% water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you know what, Stevie? I now am almost liking cucumbers. But they're probably not on the list. What do you mean almost? I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Oh, cause, uh, Cause when you thinly slice cucumbers and you put them in rice vinegar, and make them pickles? I love that. But they're not pickles yet. Okay, we've only gotten through five of yeah, the Yeah, we'll, we'll speed it up. Good pace, good pace, good pace. <laughs> Calamari. Ooh. I'm nice. on the fence, but uh, can I order something else? No. That... <laughs> can I order shrimp? The best calamari is the one that doesn't come in the little rings that can be mistaken for pig anuses and commonly mistaken for them. Uh, is the one that is just actually the, our pig? Actually, the whole the whole little squid with the little legs. I don't. So I'm out. No. So no. Yes, do okay. you? Oh, I love it. Oh, I don't like it. It's it. It. I don't like the way it looks. And a lot of people it's got only get it fried. You get, you get it grilled. Try it grilled. It's hard to chew. Try it. Grilled. It's too chewy. It's Cottage not natural. cheese. Oh yes, oh, that's yes. my favorite cheese. He does. His favorite <laughs> cheese is of the cottage. I didn't know that. It's so good. Which I think is nuts, but I also do like it. Well, I add walnuts. Well, then it's And then sometimes sometimes cheese. I'll add um What's what's that like purple liquid? Things that have flavor. <laughs> what's that purple new grape? <laughs> he loves putting Like the the he drizzle loves putting new grape in his cottage cheese. Who does it though, really? What is the drizzle the purple drizzle you can Balsamic? Put? Yeah. Why is yours purple? Usually it's brown. Well, maybe you got a special one. So that's a yes. Peas. What oh, kind of peas? You, lo you love peas. Don't get me wrong. Garden Any peas, peas. I've been told. What? Green Any peas. 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 Yes, garden peas are my favorite vegetable. Okay, great. And I like I like field, I like field peas too. Tofu. 
I don't know. Hold on, but you, hold on. I don't understand. In it. your defense, you'd eat it though. You don't, like, you might. No, I've passed it up many times. I've tried it and been like, I don't, why am I, hold eating, on. Why am I eating a sponge? But have you had it in a good curry where it absorbs the flavor? No, Rhett. You haven't had tofu in a good curry before? I'm giving you my answer. I, I haven't. Well. Because usually you, I can also get try. chicken in said curry. Yeah, but I'm saying if you want it, in my mind, if you want to do a plant-based thing, you can I basically don't. get it as good as chicken almost if you get the right tofu. It's not I, as good I'm not, as chicken. I bet you I could get there. There's nothing unpleasant you put, about put it. Put it in your working on it. Calm. I'm working on it. Olives. Never. Uh, yeah. Not working on it. Yeah, you're back to my favorites. Grapefruit. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to put sugar on it like my mom. There's said. haters out there I've seen recently on TikTok that can't can't stomach grapefruit. Huh. Weird. Add some salt. Mayonnaise. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan. Asparagus. Uh, ah. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm moving away from it. Why? I used to like, I used to eat it, I never liked it. And now I'm like, you know what? I just, I don't like it. I'm gonna stop eating it. It's one of the few things that I thought I liked and now I don't. Have you had it canned? No. Have you had it pickled? No. They're both good. Canned? Canned asparagus has a completely different consistency. So I, my, my wife doesn't usually get canned vegetables, but. The stalks are always hard. This is why I want to And you feel like a failure canned. for leaving it. So if you do the steamed fresh, they're obviously way better for you, but yeah, you can get some hard stems. Something happens in the canning process where they just turn into like butter. It's, it's so good and also kind of gross if you think about it. Yeah, but it's like so canned good. peas I really yeah. like, but yeah. then if yeah. you compare them to frozen peas, you it's also canned can 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 peas are better. Okay. You, yeah. I, I, I think it will change your life. And then how do you prepare it? You don't even put it on a plate. Straight out the can. What? No. You don't like no. asparagus like roasted in the oven with olive oil and salt and pepper and it gets like crispy? Yes. You can dip I, it in like I, some I aioli do. or I something? Do. Okay. I would prefer it over kale prepared that way. Just my answer is no, but okay, I'll work on it. Well, we need we Okay, so the answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. He doesn't he okay. doesn't like it. Hmm. Ketchup? Yes. Yeah. Who who doesn't like ketchup? I know. Is it? Oh, Brittany okay. does not like ketchup. Feels very strongly about it. Okay. Um, Chicago hot dog eaters don't like ketchup. And finally, zucchini. I'm really on the fence. It's not, I, I eat it out of guilt. It's it's in, it's in the squash zone for me, which is uh, if you get, if you give it to me, I'm going to eat it, but I'm not going to choose it. So you're saying no. And I'm saying, I, you know what, I'm saying yes. I didn't say I wouldn't eat it. Like if you grill vegetables. Yes, just say yes or no. We're at the end. We gotta, get, we gotta tabulate the results. I'm not gonna refuse it. If that's the, th I'm not gonna refuse it. I eat it, it's just not great. Mm. I don't you love know, it. You know, you didn't do, I feel the same way about zucchini by the way. I don't know, there's something. You know what's good though, zucchini bread. That's oh, good. Yeah, that's I agree with that. What happens, they add bread to it, that's what happens. So how yeah. do we fare and then did people, did people so result So you it? did, I think better than the majority of people thought you were going to do. Well, I don't what well, define better. I don't know. I'm, How many I, did I think he more like? people thought you were going to actually you're right in, in the middle. You refused seven of the fifteen. So less oh. than half. That's oh. not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. And we had five people who guessed that that was gonna be your your sweet spot. You know what's crazy is we have pickier eat eaters. I here guarantee you, Kaylin's one of them. Um, well, Michaela has nine things what? that she refuses to eat. And grapefruit and ketchup are amongst those things. Uh oh. What? Yes, Michaela. please come to the mic. Michaela? Michaela is more picky than me, and she's been hiding it. Hello. Okay. You need Michaela, to own this. What is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, here's the thing about ketchup. I actually do like ketchup. I used to drink ketchup, but I was seeing red by the time I got to like the end of that list because I was like about to vomit because I was like, ugh, I can't eat any of this. Um, I love ketchup, but I don't like zucchini. So yes, yeah, the same amount. Okay. But. 
So really, it's eight things. You know what? You just had, you're in touch with your preferences, aren't you? Very much so. Right, and you're not apologizing to anybody. Not at all. And you can decide to change what you like or don't like just based on your own prerogative. Well, here's the thing. I eat a thing once, and if it just turns me off, it turns me off, and that's it. You've tried things. I have. Right, you've tried olives. Yeah, they're like salt grapes. Who wants that? Like Nobody should. Ew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, what would you guess is the most refused item on the whole list that we just went through? Uh, oysters. I was going to say oysters, but I can't remember the full list. Right, it, But oysters is probably up there. I mean, surprisingly, olives. Yeah, olives are very olives polarizing. Olives number one. And not a, good, not a good taste, not a good experience. Mm -mm -mm. Man, me and Michaela, are, we're both... We're both discerning in touch with our palate. Okay, so you're saying that the reason I don't like, I like everything is because I'm not in touch Because you, you don't think, you just eat. Uh. <laughs> it's just good, no matter. I love it, man. I love olives. I just love it, man. As I wasn't directed at you. It was very defensive. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All I'm saying is in a given day, you might encounter 20 different things. You're gonna have a better day or a worse day if you like more of the 20 things that you encounter. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? I'm not having this conversation. Okay. Baby this girl, with this. what's your name? Stay case D, that's what it is. It tore a little bit, that's fine. That's fine, shh, 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 shh. Oh God, talk to me. 